What's going on everybody? Devo here, and today I would like to, well, I was going to say I was going to bring you a tutorial, but this isn't really a tutorial, it's mostly, I guess, food for thought. Now, a lot of people have questions about audio. Well, maybe it's not even so much questions, just advice likes to be giving about audio and other people's videos. Uh, do's and don'ts, hints, tricks, tips, things of that nature. But the problem that I've noticed is most people give the exact same advice, no matter who it is. They say the audio will make or break your video, which we're talking people that have hundreds of thousands, if not millions, of subscribers. So I guess they have to be right on some level, but I don't 100% agree with them. Let me explain why. Now the reason why I said I don't 100% agree with them is because uh, audio is important. I That part, absolutely. Right now I'm not giving the best example. I don't have a microphone hooked up to my camera. It's just going straight into the camera microphone, which I've heard some pretty bad things about that, but honestly, it's not as bad as everybody says. You can get by with this. Um, I'm in my kitchen, it's a little reverby. If I had some acoustic paneling in here or something, it would sound a lot better, but again, that's not gonna break the video. Um, but a lot of what they're talking about when they say audio will make or break your video is they're talking about the levels in not just your dialogue, but what's going on around you. Is there traffic behind you? Is it too loud? Is it a windy day? Um, if so, there's quick fixes for that. You can get some dead cats or some sort of windscreens to block even just a camera microphone. There's ways to do that. But also, do you have some background music? Is it too loud so you can't hear anything else? Uh, is somebody talking and they're way too quiet, the music is just blaring and you can't understand what they're saying? Uh, if you have a B-roll sequence, is that music way louder than any audio in the clip? Uh, these things are important. But also, there's sound effects that you need to take into consideration as well. Do you have sound effects in your video? Do you need sound effects in your video? No, you don't. All these big creators don't necessarily say that you need it, but they strongly hint at it. And they say this will bring your videos to a whole new level. I say this could bring your video to a new level. It doesn't mean it will. This whole beginning sequence that I did, you know, I was in the fridge, had a little transition in there. Normally I would add sound effects to that, but I didn't this time, just to show you that you don't need it. But it can enhance your video depending on the situation. Does it make sense? Is it a serious video? If so, maybe all these sound effects and transitions and such might not fit so well. Either that or you're going to have to be extremely selective over the sound effects that you do use. But if you're just creating a vlog, and that's all it is, you can use any sound you want. It can be as serious as you want it to be, it can be as goofy as you want it to be. It really doesn't matter, the sky's the limit there. You still want to make sure that you balance out the sounds. You don't want a nice quiet dialogue with a transition into a new area and it to be extremely loud. It's simply not going to work. But ultimately, I guess the point that I'm trying to make is, it's not going to break your video if you don't use sound effects, if you don't have appropriate sound. It, couldn't hurt to add something, but it, it's not going to break your video. It, it really isn't. Um, sound is important, but not as important as everyone makes it out to be, which I think stresses a lot of creators out. A lot of people that I've talked to that are really either wanting to start a YouTube channel or they've already started it, and they, they're nervous about keeping it going because they don't feel they have the appropriate equipment to do so. And sound comes up a lot when I've talked to these people. But I tell them not to worry about it. It's not so big a deal where you have to stop making videos and stop creating stuff. It's, it's really not. But ultimately, when it comes down to it, it's your video. What do you want to do? Do you want those sounds? If so, throw them in there. Otherwise, don't. It's your video, it's your call, man. But if you are thinking about adding sounds, it really doesn't take much. It could be something extremely simple. You have a nice 
slow 120 or 240 frames a second b-roll sequence of a flag flapping in the breeze. Just download a sound. Maybe you already have one in a library. Uh, just throw a, a sound of a flag flapping in there. Make it subtle. Let the music kind of carry it or the narration, whatever you have over the b-roll sequence, and just have the sound of that flag pulled back. That's one thing that can absolutely enhance it. Maybe there is a waterfall. Add the sound of a waterfall. You're looking at a lake. Add the sound of a babbling brook or something. I don't know. But these are ways that you can add audio if that's something that you really want to do. And it makes it feel natural. It doesn't matter that it's 100% artificial. It doesn't matter that it didn't actually come from that video. It still works. And also, if you want to throw some audio onto those transitions, it could be virtually anything you want. If you don't want it to be just weird and out there, find just a little whoosh sound or something like that. And then that's extremely simple. It doesn't take much at all. Um, it could be anything. You could have the sound of a basketball going through a net. And that could be a transition sound. So play around with different things. Find one transition and throw 10 or so different sounds on top of it. Not at the same time, separate them, but try one sound, then try another, then try another, and, and see what works for you. I think that's about all I have. I didn't want to make a long video today, but I wanted to put something out because it's been way too long since my last video. But if there's anything I leave you with today, it's that audio will not make or break your video. It could make or break your video. It's completely up to you. If you have a bad video, your audio will absolutely enhance it and it won't make it seem as bad. If you have a great video, but you don't have all those components in place to make your audio really stand out, as long as it's not really bad audio and you can still hear what's going on, then that's fine. There's a difference between adding audio to make it good and just simply having bad audio. So until next time, keep creating. Cheers.